Hey guys, um, Dave Mason here from the Niche Lifestyle vlog number 10. Coming to you from uh, a rainy overcast Brisbane and um, tonight I want to focus on um, people that are running clubs, teams or groups that are struggling a little bit. So a um, couple of questions. Are you a group, team or club that's struggling? Do you feel like um, everyone's on a different page? Um, are you struggling to get buy-in from uh, teammates, groups? And if that's the case, then this vlog is aimed at you. So, um, tonight I want to look at five things. And this morning I sent out a bit of a, a preempt. Five things to guarantee a mindset change in your team, group or club. Um, five things are... Understanding mission statements and vision statements. And we'll go over that with examples. Two, understanding the difference between leadership and management, because they are totally different. Three, understanding individual needs and wants of your key drivers within your group, team uh, or club. Uh, four, selling your goals and aspirations. And it's pivotal. And the last thing is walking your talk, walking your team culture, um, being custodians of what you're about. So uh, I hope that makes sense. So um, understanding mission statements and vision statements. Now, all the best clubs, groups uh, in the world, all have mission statements, all the best companies, all have mission statements and visions. So what are mission statements and visions? And a lot of people who are in clubs or groups probably think, you know, it's a bit of a wank and it's not worth um, focusing on. But if you're serious about building something or developing something, either a group or a club or a team, um, then mission statements and vision statements are pivotal, are the glue are the cement, is the platform on which um, your group is formed. Okay? I'll give you an example. I, I, wrote, I, I wrote down, um, I had a look at, you know, the, probably the most prolific sporting team in the world, as everyone knows, um, All Blacks. 85% um, win record for the last 15 years. So that makes them the best franchise sporting team bar none, period. And I looked at their vision and their mission statement just to give you an idea. So they wrote one and it's all to do with the all black jersey. And this is how, this is their mission statement. This is not a jersey. This is a jersey, jersey through which men pass. This is not material. This is a fabric that binds us together. This is not a souvenir. This is a reminder of all who have worn it before us. This is not black. This is the absence of fear. This is not a uniform. This is a country unified. This is not a jersey only 22 men get to wear. This is a jersey fitted for 4 million people, obviously written a few years ago. This is victory and loss, but will not be defeated. This is everything but a jersey. Vision and mission statements are, are fundamental in any group. Um, it, it lives past, way past um, any changes in management, any changes in coaching. Mission statement is always there. If you think about any particular sporting team, whether it's the Chicago Bulls or Melbourne Storm or the Brisbane Broncos, they all have their own mission statements. They're all driven by a particular group of things. If you want your team, your group, to um, excel, to grow and to develop, you need to have a mission statement. It's not, I'm not talking about direction. Direction varies and changes all the time. But it's about what your team is about, what your club's about. What do you sell? What are you trying to push? 
I mean, I, I paddle for a particular club, Bayside Outriggers. We're known for three things. Um, we talk extended family. Right? We call it, the Māoris call it tanga. We talk support, which is manakitanga. And we talk rangatai. We talk about the future, which is our juniors. We don't just talk it, we walk it. Anyone who wants to know anything about um, Bayside Outriggers, they'll tell you those three things. Family orientated, support one another, and they focus a lot on junior development. If you want to do anything first, make any changes to what you're doing, whether it's your club, group, or, or team, you have to have a mission statement or a vision statement, something that tells the team, group, or club what you're about. It is the cement. It is the platform on which, all te- on which your team will flourish, nourish, and or fail. I hope that makes sense. Mission statements and vision statements are key. Two, understanding the difference between leadership and management. Um, I read a quote somewhere and it goes like this. When I talk to managers, I get the feeling that they are important. When I talk to leaders, I get the feeling that I am important. Managers focus on um, due process. Managers are policy-driven people. Managers dot I's, cross T's. Those are the people that you get to do the, the, the real work, the, the work, that the foundation work. They're the ones that plan and budget. They're the ones that organise and allocate. They're the ones that control and solve problems. That's a manager. A leader, a leader shows direction. A leader will grab an idea. They will align and influence. They will get people to buy in to that idea. Then they will motivate and inspire to head towards that particular target. Any person who's pushing an agenda, any person who's driving an idea, and it doesn't have to be a a huge club, it it could be a small team, it could be a dynamic, high-performing team. Um, Nine times out of ten, especially with small groups, everyone's a leader. Everyone's a leader. I hope that makes sense. So, one manages, the other one provides direction, aligns, and influences. Number three, understanding individual needs and wants of your drivers. Within each group, within each team, within each club, there's, there's always the, uh, um, that small group of people that do all the work. Anyone who runs a club knows exactly what I'm talking about. You've got to be able to find those people and utilise them. Don't confuse utilise for use. Um, if they're part of an organisation, it's a non-profit organisation, especially sporting teams, you know, where the work is voluntary, um, most of them are involved because they love what they do and they want to be able to contribute to whatever kaupapa or purpose or direction that this group is, is going. As a leader, you have to be able to identify who they are and support them and get them, i.e. align and influence them to head in the same direction that you're heading. I wrote down a little point here. No man is an island unto himself. Uh, Every team, group or club that I've ever been involved in, um, you've got to go with the mindset of the team. No I in team. Number four, selling your goals and aspirations. Once you get into uh, this process, 
especially with teams that are struggling, especially with clubs that are struggling. Unfortunately, the biggest letdown is lack of leadership. And it comes because most of the people that are put in place, and I'll be honest, are in there by default. So um, they're expected to be able to um, step into a breach or a hole and um, try and get the group and the team or the club to head in a certain direction. Anyone who's ever been in a group or a club knows uh, that with poor leadership, poor leadership leads to frustration. Frustration leads to anger. Anger leads to people doing their own thing or walking out, i.e. leaving the club, team or group. So what is your del delivery method? How are you getting your points across? How are you conveying your message to get them to buy into what you're doing? Are you telling them? In other words, are you like a school teacher? You know, transmissive, one way. You do it my way. I'm telling you how to do it, so you're going to do it my way. Trust me, that way never works. It never works. Especially when it comes to voluntary stuff. Because the moment you start telling people what to do, I mean, they, people get fucking paid for that shit. They don't need to be told what to do. You need to be able to sell them the idea, convey the message, get them to buy into what you're doing, and then let them do what they have to do. As long as you've got the managers in place, they've got the due process in place, that you're a policy-driven um, club, group, or team. Fundamental in, in everything that you do. If you can't convey your message, if you can't get your points across, um, if you can't do anything, any of that sort of shit, you need to go and get some training. You need to find out how best to deliver your message. Because if you can't convey messages, if you can't get your points across, you could be fucking it for everybody else. Enthusiasm, motivation and inspiration only goes so far. If you can't convey the right message for the right reason, then your club, group or team is... Fucked. The last thing, number five, you've got to be able to walk your talk. Your team culture should be screaming at you. Your club culture, your group culture should be screaming at everybody, everywhere you go. So that, um, and the reason why that's important, I go back to the all black jersey, right? Um... Pine Tree Meads said, um, a great person makes a greater all black. Um, you have to be able to, um, if you can't, if you're not delivering the deliverables, if you're not delivering the action plans, if you're not delivering um, everything to meet your mission statement or your vision, your group, team or club sees right through you. There is no running from that. If you talk it but don't walk it, bullshit walks. You need to be able to walk it, not just talk it. The moment you deviate from the path, the moment you deviate from the mindset, the moment you deviate from the mission statement or vision statement, People will leave you in droves. They'll leave you in droves because one, trust is broken. Two, you no longer have rapport. And if you don't have rapport and or trust, you don't have a team, you don't have a group, you don't have a club. You just have a group of people with a common interest. I hope that makes sense for you guys. 
Um, if you've got questions, by all means, flick them to me about groups, clubs or teams, something that you're struggling with. Um, click on it, um, comment, share, share if you think. The other thing too is uh, people are saying, oh, your message is starting to sound the same. Your message is starting to sound um, congruent, it sounds the same. Well, there's a reason. There's a reason why my message sounds the same, congruent. Because that's the, that's the path I walk. I'm not saying I'm an expert. I'm just saying that if I talk it and it sounds the same, that repetition is, is the glue for everything that I do. So, let's go back to these five points. One, understand your vision or mission statement. If your club doesn't have one, if your team doesn't have one, if your group doesn't have one, Sit down with your team, group or club and form a vision or mission statement. That's going to be the glue for everything that you do. No amount of strategy, no amount of tactical talk, no amount of planning will cement long-term uh, sustainability. It only comes if you've got a share. Māori's call it kaupapa. Reason, purpose. Um, if you don't have that, your team, your group, your club will struggle. Understand the difference between leadership and management. I've just given you a couple of examples. Managers manage. Plan, budget, due process, um, control, solve problems. Leaders Show a direction, align and influence, motivate and inspire. That's the difference. Um, three, understand the needs and wants of your key drivers. If you don't understand your team, if you don't understand your club and the people within your club, if you haven't identified or recognised people within your club that can make a difference, you're up shit creek and you've got a pair of chopsticks. Uh, four, sell your goals and aspirations. Get that mission statement and get buy-in. If you can't, find someone else to do it or go and educate yourself to be able to sell it. If you can't sell your mission statement, if you can't sell your vision, you're also up shit creek with a pair of chopsticks. Last, walk your talk. Walk your talk. Don't deviate from the mission statement. Don't deviate from the vision. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I hope it's helped in some way. Anyone out there that's got questions, anyone out there that you know, just wants to ask me questions about groups, teams or clubs, send me a message. Do us a favour. Um, share this video if you, know, if you think that someone else could Let's learn and, um, you know, is going to benefit from it. Please share. And this is Dave Mason from The Niche Lifestyle, coming at you from rainy overcast Brisbane, uh, 6.30 on a Monday afternoon. Catch up.